Real briefly, we're going to give you the headlines because I think it just lays it out for the remainder of the work week because it's Tuesday already. So we have smoky skies and it's hot and a little steamy today. A little bit feeling already on the better side as we go off towards the southwest, but that's where the heat is, not necessarily the humidity. Later this week, everything goes back down because of a change of the ridge that we're seeing with the hotter air to a trough in cooler Canadian air. Uh, that accounts for the weekend as well. It's staying sunny and no precip, uh, but we keep going forward here here we do see our setup surface wise uh, a couple of low pressure systems we have some more clouds rolling right into the highway 85 corridor or eastern montana that's not really going to impact us today i mean there is that level one for southeastern montana today uh, but i think that's just going to stay very isolated that storm activity does arrive for the forecast come tomorrow in addition to that cold front by behind it so there's the level one for around glendive sydney miles uh, city then we go to tomorrow's outlook, a level one for those south of the interstate of 94, and then for most of us to the east of Highway 83. Uh, outside of that, Minot Williston, you could still check out here with a couple of uh, scattered showers and storms, but nothing really severe. And I think that is a lower level one too. So same threat, 60 mile per hour wind gust, quarter size tail. Uh, we are warm, we are hot today because of the south wind really taking over. Now where those two fronts were with our two low pressure systems at the surface, it's more of a little bit more of that westerly wind. Noticeable 20 mile per hour gust, maybe 25 stronger if you're going out towards I-29, but that's today. Tomorrow we have everything passing through we'll see those north northwest winds take over. So we're getting rid of the 90s already from today to the 80s for tomorrow. And we're going to clear out some of that smoke too gradually as the day goes on, uh, but maybe a little bit more on that gusty side. Uh, so this kind of pans it out a little bit. We have today's highs mid 90s. I mean, some of us in the southwest triple digits. We go right to our Wednesday lower 80s. Uh, then some of us might not even make it to the 70s as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, beautiful weekends coming our way as we go to the first full weekend of September. Look at the overnight lows. I would not be surprised if we see a couple more 30s as we go into our Friday morning as well as Saturday morning. So definitely on that cooler sky, um, side. And then we go right to September. Overall, we are favored to be above normal. The only place where we're favored to be below in the country is by the Outer Bank. So at that point too, everything's shutting down now that we had the uh, unofficial end to summer, Labor Day. Uh, but we talked about the precip too. I don't have much in our seven day forecast. If anything, maybe just a little bit of those uh, showers and storms once again for Wednesday. Uh, but we're going to be unfortunately dry as a bone. And I know out west we really need that. We flipped the calendar, Krista. I mean, we're seeing those temperatures drop from 79 to 67 degrees. And we are obviously going to be close towards the end of September by the time we head into Thursday. Friday. Yeah, it's always hard to see those temperatures ease up, but when the humidity goes away, I think that's when people really kind of start smiling. What did we talk about last week? That fall sky. Yep, It'll be back right. later. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Heidi.